Okay, guys, we are entering realms of techiness I've never taken you into before, but it's um it's 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 a question I get all, asked all the time, and and it's something that comes up for me, you know, when I'm doing my private client work and when I'm teaching you guys. Basically, it's around um, Google Search Console and your sitemap. There's an error, so this is the error that comes up. So worth watching if this is something that you've seen and don't know how to fix is. Um, Google Search Console couldn't fetch sitemap. Now, what is that and how do you fix it? That's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Super simple suit fix that um, might sound horribly techy and there's no way you're going down that path, but actually it's really, really easy to fix. So first of all, what does it mean? When you see that message, Google Search Console couldn't find sites, can't, couldn't find sitemap, fetch sitemap, what does it mean? Basically, it means it can't find it. It's um, It's looking around... It can't fetch it because it can't find it. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is just talk you through why it couldn't find it. Okay, so let's have a look. Now, um, what? Okay, I've got my little sneaky list over to the side here, so just wait a minute. So, yeah, one of the most common reasons is that your sitemap just isn't, the URL of your sitemap isn't isn't um, formatted properly. So sitemap should be something like, so for me, it's Smith. Um, dot com forward slash sitemap dot xml that xml is really really important it's a type of file it's a file type you need it to be html not not dot doc or dot ppt or anything like that it has to be an xml um format okay that's the first thing you need to check um now the other thing it could be it could literally just be a server error. So wherever your sitemap is is being held, it's usually um you know it's held within in the directory of your uh, directories of your website. It just might be a server error. You know your server might be down. It might not be re responding properly. In which case you can't really do anything about your um you know your server you know the, the functioning of your server. So you just have to put up with that for for a bit and and have another go another day. Um now. A couple of articles that you might want to um, read. I'm going to recommend. I put. I pop them down in in um, the uh, description of this video too. It's a really great um, email email uh, blog article written by Neil Patel on how to make sure that your fight your site map structure is spot on. You know all that file structure and all that good stuff. So I'm going to check out the link below. Otherwise, it could be your yeah. As I say, it could be your. Um, your um, server issues. The other thing it could be is it could be um, that you've put your sitemap in the wrong place. So it's not in your root directory. Now, I'm I'm so um, really, really don't want to go down the root directory path. But I'm going to go like very, very tenuously in just inside the door of root directories. Basically, root directories are the top level directories. It's where all your really, really important files to do with your website are kept, like your HTML files and your sitemap should be in your root directory. Now, you can make sure it's in your root directory by... Oh, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to go down root directories. If you've got any questions on, on putting your sitemap in your root directory, let me know. Most of the time, it is automatically put into your root directory. I'm just thinking of all the things that might have happened that mean it's that that, that they can't fetch your your sitemap. So it could be that the, your you've got your sitemap in some sub folder which is not the right place. The other thing it could be is your it's your it's something to do with your robots text file. So your robots txt file. Now, if you've told so you remember your robots text file is the file that basically tells um, Google what pages should not be crawled and indexed. Okay, so if you're if you if you've told if somehow you've managed to um, to edit your robots txt file and you've put your sitemap in as a page that shouldn't be that shouldn't be indexed, then Google aren't going to index your sitemap, which isn't great. So what you need to do is you need to edit your robots txt file to make sure your sitemap isn't there, isn't mentioned, or else it will be, uh, or else it won't be indexed. Now, this is the most common reason why why your Google console can't fetch your sitemap, is because you haven't verified your website with Google Search Console. Okay. Um, it's a really it, there's a little you know when you when you first set up Google Search Console there's a little um, kind of like a I don't know a helper you know there's two little boxes and you click verify and it's usually done really simply. Um, the reason it's usually really really quick and really simple to verify Google your website with Google Search Console is that you've already set up Google Analytics. 
So I, my recommendation is you go back, you make sure that you've got Google Analytics all set up properly. There's, an, again, another article I've written for you on how to set up Google Analytics painlessly. So go and have a read through that. Make sure you're set up properly in Google Analytics. And then when you come back to Google Search Console, you just click on verify and it's all done. And then you submit your sitemap and it will, shouldn't have any, any problems fetching your sitemap. Now, um, if you're not set up in Google Analytics, there are other ways around it too. You can verify your sitemap using an HTML tag. You go and add your HTML tag to your website using FTP again. We're kind of getting really techy here, guys. What I would really recommend is you make sure that Google Analytics is set up properly, then you can avoid all these HTML tags. You can also put an HTML file into your website's root directory um, to make sure that your sitemaps um that you that you ver so that, that your website is verified with Google Search Console. You can always use you can use things like um, uh, Google Tag Manager, or you can you can go and, and update your DNS. These are again we're kind of getting into the realms of of developer stuff here, and I don't really want to encourage you to to go down that path alone. If you do want to go down that path, drop me a line. I'm more than happy to help. Um, if if you're not and you just want to solve this problem quickly and easily. Go and check that you've got your sitemap in the correct format, so .xml, not, not .doc or anything else. And secondly, that you are set up with Google Analytics and that you verified your website um, with Google Search Console. They're the two main reasons. If you're still stuck and you're still getting this error message, drop me a line, um, email me or get in touch, drop me a message on this video and I will make sure you get sorted. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.